Hi, I'm Dina Wakely, and I'm here to tell you the differences between ultra thick gel medium, which is new, and original gel medium. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the new ultra thick gel medium and the gel medium. I've been calling this the original gel and ultra thick. The first thing I want you to do is get yourself a scribble sticker or a marker, and I want you to circle the word thick on your jar of gel. And then I want you to take your original gel medium and I want you to write the words, the word thin. And hopefully that will help remind you about when to use which product because they are different. And the original gel medium is for thin paper and I like to say book weight, like dictionary paper and lighter. Anything heavier than that, it just won't really stick for you and you'll, you'll be frustrated. The ultra thick gel is for anything thicker than book weight paper. So things like tags, cardstock cut up. Now this will work on thin, um, but you'll have to use more of it. You'll find yourself working harder to get your tissue down if you use the thick. Um, but if you use the original gel with tissue, it just goes on like butter. And so they are both important. Um, I like to think of the ultra thick gel as like a, ju a glue stick in a jar. And most of the time I just use my finger to apply it. So I thought I'd put some tissue down on the paper and some burlap because the ultra thick gel will solve all the problems in your media journal for how do you glue things to the burlap, to the canvas, all that good stuff. And so this is the answer to that. I'm gonna start with a little bit of gel. What I have here is sky paint. Um, just brushed on the background of the watercolor rag and peacock done through the space dot stencil really lightly and then here's the original gel and i'm going to get some of this new collage tissue if you haven't tried this yet oh you're in for a treat it is absolutely a dream to work with and it will sort of disappear after you gel medium it right into your background. Now, if your background's really dark, it's probably not going to disappear all the way. And so what I'll do is, if my background's really dark, I'll get my scribble, my matching scribble stick in there, and I'll just tint it. But if the background's medium to light, look at that. You'll find that it disappears really, really well. And because this gel, the original gel, is so thin and easy to move with a brush, you can get it really flat. You can get your tissue down on there and then you burnish the top and I promise you can get it completely wrinkle free. I always say if you're really struggling with a lot of, of wrinkles in your collage, you're using the wrong glue. This is the large set of collage paper. You've got 10 blank sheets, which are awesome for printing with the gel press. They are awesome for um, stamping on. They take the archival ink like a dream use these hearts so these also uh, these tissues can also be painted inked whatever you feel like so you could just go to town collaging how much tissue you want on there and I don't oop, I don't uh, leave a lot of visible gel in fact I always say wipe off all visible gel from the top doesn't need to be crazy thick this thin gel is meant to go in a thin layer that's why you're gonna write thin on your jar Okay, let's do a little balance here. I've got one, two, maybe three hearts for our rule of threes. I love to start with blue in the background. I, it's just my color story. I think that's, that's the color of the Arizona sky. And it always matches things, so I like blue. Okay, so there's my little background tissue going on. If you really want that to anchor in, um, you could paint over it, but I feel like it's pretty anchored because my background wasn't too dark, right? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the burlap from the journal. So I just flip to a journal, a burlap page in the journal. I cut a chunk of burlap out and I'm going to use it as a border. And that original gel is, is not good for gluing down this heavy fabric. I'm going to shred it a little bit. I love to shred it so it's twisty and imperfect because that's how I am. I'm twisty and imperfect. <laughs> okay, doesn't that look cool? So I'm going to glue that down just like that with all of the random bits. So if you're OCD, you're going to want to strangle me right now, <laughs> but I'm used to it. So then I'm going to turn to my thick gel because this is the glue for anything heavy and I've just used my finger. I mean, you can get a brush in there. That's fine. The problem is you then have to clean the brush. So glue stick in a jar, think of it that way, grab gel. Now it's white. It's white because acrylics are naturally glossy. 
okay? And that means they're super shiny, like my face. And in order to get them to be matte, you have to add a mattifying agent. And the mattifying agent is white. Um, and so if you put it any, any sort of matte medium on really thick, it will kind of look cloudy. But if you put it on thin, it'll be, it'll be just fine. So I'm just using glue. I'm getting some burlap in there. <laughs> That'll bug people later, but not me. So look how that, that stuck down. Now you can see the glue because I've globbed it on so that I can stick down that um, 3D bits. Just wipe it off on my apron. Um, but when it's dry, it will be 100% clear. 100%, it, you'll be amazed at how clear it will be. And so I have some focal points here. I, um, this is um, Jet Black Archival, stamped on the loose cotton rag watercolor sheets that you can get now, which you need. If, you're, if your stamp is um, not too detailed and if your watercolor, or excuse me, if your archival pad is very well inked, then you should not have a problem stamping right onto that textured watercolor. Shouldn't be an issue at all. I do re-ink my pads a lot because I live in a dry state, but the great thing about Ranger is that every single ink pad that you can buy, you can get the coordinating re-inker. And don't put up with dry ink pads. Give them, give them some more juice. So that's going to be my little collage element there on top of my background. I think it's looking good. To make sure that those stand out, the opposite of blue on the color wheel is orange. So I'm just gonna take a little orange scribble stick. This is the tangerine scribble stick. A little bit of water on the brush. Lightly brush orange onto their bodies. So carefully. Just really, <laughs> really precise. Oh, that's how I go, right? Maybe yellow hair today. Why not? You could color straight on. I usually color before I cut out, but today I didn't want to. Okay. And then how about a little speckle on there for kicks? I'm going to choose the nightstick. Get some water on that brush. F dissolve the, the stick a little bit and just flick it downwards. Gives you some speckle. There, there you have a really easy, simple journal page done with both the glues. You've got transparent backgrounds, cool texture, and you've used both of your glues the way they're meant to be used. So I hope that's helpful. I hope you enjoyed the new glue stick in a jar, the new ultra thick gel. It really is awesome. Have fun. Happy creating.